everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, it's Taglish Thursday. Anyways, uh, makikita nyo, um, nasa ibang lugar ako ngayon. This is yung aking bar uh, dito sa bahay namin. Dito na rin yung craft room ko. I don't have actually a bar. Well, it's a it's supposed to be a bar. Bar siya dapat, kaso since hindi naman kami umiinom, ito yung ginawa kong craft area. Kasi wala naman ako ibang extra room para maging ano maging craft area ko. So, ito na lang yung ginawa kong craft area ko. Um, makikita nyo dito, ito yung aking mga planners na binili kasi naging addict din ako sa planner. Um, well, I just like the look of the planner together and then yung iba-ibang iba-ibang date. Siyempre, I'm gonna be able to use that again later. Ito yung planners ko. And then there's the candle over there. And then, uh, dito yung uh, mga pens and you know, whatever, knickknacks dito, and then, um, mga drawers dito, and sa likod ko, guys, this is the Cameo machine, this is the Silhouette Cameo, ito yung ginagamit ko pang cut ng aking mga um, invitations na binibenta ko sa Etsy anyways, papakita ko din sa inyo ngayon yung aking mga gawa na um, invitation so, siguro lang tataka kayo paano ko um, anong ginagawa ko and uh, I'm I'm not working or work at home mom or not really work at home because I'm a stay at home mom. It's just I just have to get you know to do something na mapapakinabang ako naman kasi naman sila katunga nga lang ako rito, nag-aalaga ng bata, nanood ng TV, nasa computer. Um, gusto ko rin sana na mag maging medyo pro mas productive yung pagstay ko sa bahay habang nagbabantay ng mga anak ko. Um, so, naisip ko na gumawa ako ng business na hindi siya ganun ka-busy. Although, minsan talagang busy kasi minsan may mag-order 80 pieces ng ano, um, para, para sa baby shower invitation. 80 pieces. Yes, nag invite sila ng 80 na tao or at least 80 pair na tao. Ganun sila kayaman. Papakainin nila yun para sa baby shower. Anyways, um, isha-show ko lang sa inyo, ipapakita ko lang sa inyo yung iba kong mga gawa. Yung ibang mga friends ko sa Facebook, nakita na nila to kasi nagpo-post naman ako lagi ng mga gawa ko sa Facebook. So, eto yung isa sa mga gawa ko. So, eto yung isa sa mga samples ng gawa ko. Of course, it comes with, um, with an envelope. So, depende kung anong kulay yung gusto mo, ay... Design this cut. Oops, natanggal yung ano. Hindi ko pa naidikit ng maiki. But, um, yeah. Ito, yung dinesign ko, sa sarili kong design itong cut na ito. So, sa parang, para siyang mirror or parang um, baroque style ng frame. Kung, kung gusto nila yung invitation nila, ganito. So, this one is um, like a co-parent um, baby shower invitation. So, next one is gonna be um, like a birthday party invitation. Ito naman yung tinry ko din na gawin. This is, like as you can see, si, ano, si Spider-Man. So, nandito yung, ano, yung invitation na ginawa ko recently. Not recently, but maybe like a few months ago. So, what you do is, there's a tap over here sa top. Hihilahin mo siya. Then, ayan na siya. Oops. Hihilahin mo siya, yung tab. So, makikita mo yung details ng invitation dito. So, yan. Of course, it comes with the, uh, with the envelope too. So, ito yung parang standing na ano, yung standing by itself na invitation. It's gonna be like this. Hold on. So, para siyang ganyan pag nakalagay sa table yung invitation. So, it's like a 3D kind of invitation. Lahat ito, guys, nasa Etsy ko, I'll Put the link below para makita nyo yung, yung store ko naman para ma-visit nyo rin. Or if you guys have Etsy, you can click favorite if you guys like it. Or, you know, you can email me over there too. So, ayan. So, you're invited, you know, stuff like that or whatever. It's, it's for boys or girls. If you guys want something else over here, you can, we can change the design of this. Like, if you guys want Sophia the first, we can do that. You know, like, Hello Kitty, we can do that also. Ito lang yung sampler lang ng style ng invitation. So, next one is, 
it's like almost the same with this one but this one is like you know for a birthday party for a girl then we can put like a rhinestone over here and there and then see Sophia of course or any um, any princess that you guys wanted ilagay lang natin dyan so ito yung mga kinakat ko na invitation para sa ibang tao para sa birthday invitation nila or you know like we can do baby shower or bridal shower or bachelorette or any um, invitation meron nga nag order sa akin 50 uh, 50 years old na yung ano yung birthday celebrant um, ayon nagpagawa sila ng ng invitation sa akin which is something else anyways I'm gonna show you other um, invitation that I made this one is like a 3d invitation so you guys can see like a the cloud over here and see guys parang ibang i multi-layer siya so ito yung stars and then the clouds and this star hanging over by the moon you know like I just thought of this um, design I designed this myself like I thought it was cute because the star is like moving around so yeah ito yung para sa baby shower then or maybe like a first birthday invitation that will work too so yung ano isa sa mga best seller ko is this one this is for a baby shower definitely we can change the color then branding blue or purple or you know yellow if you guys want so if or if they want meron ako minsan nag order sa akin 80 pieces grabe ganito siya e, ilang piraso to so let's count Itong page na to, itong first, itong pink na to is one page. I mean, one piece. And then that's the two Chanel, two Chanel's. Like, so the third, tatlo na. Tapos ito, yung pink na damit niya, which is embossed pa. So, pang-apat. And then, itong itim na girl or the lady, the pregnant lady over here, lima. E plus pa ito. So, imagine nyo for... Ano, 80 pieces na invitation na ganito ang ginagawa ko. Grabe, parang sabi ko, ayoko na mag-business. Sabi ko, I like, ano, I like the money, but working on it is like so, so hard. So anyways, itong isang, ano na to, isang, ang tag dito? Isang invitation na ito, this cost like, three dollars and fifty cents I'm not selling the Chanel logo over here this is just a service that I made for somebody ito yung gusto nila so I just made it for them and it comes with the invitation with the logo this is like a all paper cut and it's cut with the silhouette cameo yung machine kong ipinakita ko kanina sa inyo so ito yung business ko if you guys haven't um, known Etsy I'm gonna put the link down below and I'm gonna with my Etsy store um, for you guys so you can visit my store. So, yung susunod na ipapakita ko naman sa inyo guys, ito, lahat-lahat din na natin yung mga craft ko. Susunod, uh, susunod na ipapakita ko naman sa inyo guys is yung aking mga ginagawang parang tag siya para sa ano ko, sa aking mga um, planner. I just wanna show you guys this planner. So, ito yung mga tags na ginagawa ko. These are handmade, guys. This are, you know, the, yung, ano, yung paper clip. Tapos, nilagyan ko lang siya ng ribbon. Tapos, may palawit na, ano yung parang charm. So, it's good na. It's cute. So, I'm gonna show you other stuff that I have over here. So, this is the planner that I have not used, actually. <laughs> and, I made this one. This is like a bow with um, rhinestone over there. I'm gonna show you in a little bit. And then another, you know, bow. Oops. Another bow that has rhinestone. I'm gonna show you in a little bit. So, yun, yung nilalagay nga dito. Diba? Parang, pampakyut. Pampakyut. I know you guys, yung mga studyante nanonood, you will love this. Kasi, yung mga, may mga planners dyan, especially mga nursing students, or just the people that are so busy, you guys need a planner like this so you can... Um, you can plan ahead of time yung mga schedule nyo, yung mga, mga activities nyo. This is a very good planner. This one is the Webster's Pages. And I, I like this too but I just haven't um, been on it and got a hold of it para maayos ko yung planner ko dito. Kasi ang ginagamit ko is 
the Create 365 which is yung the Happy Planner. This one is my favorite planner kasi lahat nandito yung um, month overview tapos yung daily over oops daily overview. This is a um, schedule for my kids so I have to put it over there. So yung daily overview and all the stickers that I put over here. Anyways, I'm going to show you first my my um, paper clips that I made and I'm going to show you how I did it or I'm just going to show you the real um, like a how to make this once. This is just a paper clip that I got from the dollar store and then I just grabbed some um, lace ribbons that I have here and then I just glued a little you know rhinestone over here this one is real rhinestone real Swarovski so I could send or sell it for more money if I want to maybe I can sell this like maybe like three dollars for this one or yeah like seven dollars for two pieces of them so or two pieces or three pieces of them so yeah this is super easy to make and then I'm gonna show you the other one that I make this is another lace with that little tag over there of pearls. So it's, you know, like I just tied it. Tinali ko lang siya sa likod, tapos tinahiak ko lang nitong mga pearls na nandito. So, yeah. You guys can see that. Super cute siya. And then, yung isa is kabukons or kabuchons. Ito yung parang ano siya, yung parang, ano tayo dito? Um, botones na ilalagay mo rito para isulusot mo siya dito and then igoglu mo siya sa likod so this is a really cute um, addition for your planner or for your notebook or anything that you carry with you sa purses mo the other thing that I want to show you is this one I had to make a bow with from ribbon this is a gross grain gross grain ribbon that I um, I got or I have here around laying around so I made a bow from that out of that and then glue and um, well actually I sew this on this paper clip that I have para medyo ano siya kumbaga matiba yung pagkakalagay niya and then so para hindi siya umiikot ginlo ko siya sa likod and then I glued some good rhinestones over here this is so cute guys like oh I just love it um, if I can carry it around like you know like if I can hold na yung planner ko hawakan ko yung planner ko all the time and then I have this on top of it like isn't that cute super cute so this time guys I'm just gonna show you how I make this this is an you know just a plain paper clip and this is like a piece of ribbon see it's like a satin or silk ribbon anything can work you guys you have to be creative so what I do is just like fold them together and then put this over here and then bubuksan mo dito parang nagta yung parang taling hugot ba? parang ba yun? yeah so and then you just have to do it like that and voila meron na akong ano panlagay sa ano ko sa you know like planner or anything this is like a cute paper clip or like if you guys are reading, that's it. The, another bookmark you guys can um, use this as bookmark. Super easy siya, di ba? So, and then you can tie something like a charm over here. I'm not going to show you guys. You can, you guys can figure it out. But this is just some ideas that you can do with a paper, click and, paper clip and a ribbon. So, another thing is, like I said, the Kabukon. This is like a button that has this back over here if you guys can see that and it's like this on the back see and this is like the front any buttons that has that um my buta sa likod pwede mo siyang gamitin so this is it it's a heart shape and then what you do is you just you know like put this in there like isuot mo lang siya doon tapos silain mo iikot mo siya and voila so paper clip na siya na my tag or pwede mo siyang gamitin bookmark what you're gonna do is you have to put a glue over here so I just put a you know like a glue over here oh ang init na but it's okay hindi siya ganun ka init you guys be careful with dealing with a glue gun so 
So, I put glue over there sa likod para hindi siya gumagalaw. And then, you just have to wait till it's dried or it's it has cooled down. Pag malamig na siya. And then, you can handle that. But, you know, I, I, I don't have patience for this right now. <laughs> but, yeah, papakita ko na sa inyo kung paano. So, yeah. See? Then, I made another bookmark or or marker para sa aking um, planner. So, di ba? Ang cute. So, it's super easy, guys. Super easy. Then, if you guys can make like three of this, you can sell it for like three dollars or a dollar each and then sila na yung magbabayad ng, ng um, shipping. So, I, I do this, you know, for something, you know, like if I'm just sitting over here, I'll make something like this and then take picture, put it on my Etsy store and then, yeah, if may bumili, may makagusto, sure, fine, nice. But kung wala, it's okay lang, I can use it for something else or I can give it away for my friend as a gift. So, another um, idea is I, I made this like a flower. It has a button in the middle, like this one, if you guys can see that. I've... Okay, it's ha it has a flower over there and what I can do is I can put like glue over here from my, with my glue gun and then I'll just stick it over here. So, I put a glue over here already. And I'll just have to stick the pin in the back. And voila! I have another bookmark or marker para sa aking um, daily planner. Or planner 365 or the happy planner or any, ha or any planner that you guys have. You're, um, you're good to go with this one. Super cute siya, di ba? So, hanggang dito na lang muna ulit tayo. I hope you guys had fun sa ating Taglish Thursday, which is Crafty Thursday. And I hope you guys find something um, useful sa naging vlog ko today or sa Taglish Thursday segment ko today. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I hope to see you guys on my next Taglish Thursday or on my other videos. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.